Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial by Hats Tutors. And today in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some real life applications of economics uh, and opportunity cost. So to start off, um, what really is opportunity cost? Uh, you probably heard the definition before, the next best alternative foregone. So we could just leave it at that, but I wanted to dive deeper into it because it is used in all rational decision-making since there are limited resources. Obviously, if there weren't limited resources, we would not have to really make any decisions because we could have everything that we wanted. So, um, I've heard the saying, economics truly is just an overcomplication of the obvious. And in a way it is, because you are really just experiencing some aspect of economics every day, even if it really isn't related to money. And economics just uh, hopes to like uh, quantify things or like describe things in a more economical way, if that makes uh, any sense. Um, but the important thing to note is you actually unconsciously make decisions while considering opportunity costs every single day. So even if you have no economics background, you actually do use opportunity cost in your everyday life. So economics, whether you're interested in it or not, it's still definitely good to know because uh, you use these decisions every day and you can see it in the world around you. So some everyday examples of how you use opportunity costs so first off, do you get hamburgers or hot dogs at the county fair? So now you might be saying, why is this, how is this related to economics? Um, let's like let's say they're the same price. Like how's it related to economics then? Well, actually, it is because you're actually limited to um, in terms of both your time and in a way uh, how much you can eat. So you actually assuming you can't get both, you do have to make a choice between them. And thus, you, begin, you weigh the pros and cons of each unconsciously in your mind and make that decision, aka the opportunity cost. You consider the opportunity cost of eating a hamburger, that would be eating a hot dog, and vice versa, opportunity of eating a hot cost of eating a hot dog would be eating a hamburger. Well, like I said before, because you have limited resources and you can't have both. Now, another more obvious example, do you hang out with one friend on this day or another friend on this day? Of course, you can't be in two places at the same time. So you're going to have to make the choice between one friend or another. Now, finally, this one plagues a lot of students. Do you do your homework or procrastinate and, and slash relax? So the opportunity cost here is, well, you understand that you do need to do your homework. Homework is important. And uh, let's say you have an assignment due or something. And you got to make the choice between doing that or having fun with your friends and stuff like that. Um, opportunity cost really, as you can see in all of these, uh, three very, very everyday decisions, like they're very prevalent in them because each, each decision you make, there is an alternative that can be equally just as good, if not even better sometimes, because we don't always make the right choices because we fail to consider, uh, the entire opportunity cost of our decisions. Now. Some of the economic implications of opportunity costs um, where the stakes are higher by from the government. For example, uh, by producing more by polluting the environment or producing less while protecting the environment using like um, greener technologies and stuff, the government or factories, sorry, have to actually decide this because, well, they have to weigh how much they value uh, the revenue they earn from producing extra and how much... Um, how much they value protecting the environment uh, in the long run, where uh, by using greener technology, you're going to be more sustainable, being able to produce more in the long run while protecting the earth and preventing it from being a giant, uh, giant wasteland, to be honest. Next, um, the government has the decision to whether to improve the education or healthcare system. So they have to consider things like, does our population have more children or more elderly folks who would likely need more health care and better health care. Um, now, uh, like nowadays with the COVID-19 pandemic, for example, although an oversimplification, if the government only had to choose between these two, um, between subsidizing or uh, improving these two, obviously it'd be the healthcare system right now because that is the main priority because um, Right now, currently, we need uh, more hospitals to take care of the COVID-19 patients. So that's just another application of opportunity cost in terms of government. And finally, uh, pretty much the highest stakes possible, go to war 
or try to solve the problem diplomatically. So, back uh, if we use World War One as an example, uh, let's say with from the point of view of Great Britain, um, should they go to war with Germany or should they try to solve it diplomatically? Well, at first, they did try to solve it diplomatically. Um, no, I apologize. World War Two. Sorry. Um, they try to solve it diplomatically by like appeasing Hitler, but ultimately, because obviously they decide the opportunity cost of going to war was just too great, did too much lives, too much resources, um, not enough gain from it, so they decide to try to solve it diplomatically. Uh, but eventually, of course, uh, as we know, uh, they were forced to go to war against Germany. So, like I mentioned, it is used in government's decision making where the stakes ultimately are a lot higher than these everyday. Um, Things that you make because honestly if you get hamburgers or hot dogs it won't really change anything in the future if you hang out with one friend or another you always have time to hang out with another one in the future and if you do do your homework and procrastinate relax like yes it's a little it's a little bit uh, more important but ultimately if you don't do your homework it's not the end of the world but on the other hand um economics does really like to study opportunity cost because it is it is so important to understand it when the stakes are so much higher, like I mentioned here. In, uh, going to war, trying to solve it diplomatically, this is hundreds of thousands of lives um, that the government is pretty much deciding on whether they should sacrifice um, for some certain gain that they think they will get from the war, or if they try to use their resources to solve it diplomatically without um, the, anyone losing their lives. So, ultimately, I hope I was able to um, help you guys understand why opportunity cost is so important and why it's actually uh, a very very important concept to understand even if you're not uh if you don't have an economics background or not interested in economics but um that's gonna do it for me if you have any questions please remember to leave it in the comments below and we will try to get back to you thank you so much for watching and uh i will see you soon